hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families i return to source i return to sender all negative energy and intend immediately and permanently I call in only the purest of white light. Anything the enemy stole from you is being returned, is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are dismantled, being dismantled. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final, made by this judgment angel. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and find out what the Nima source is going on, going on here. So there could be a meeting going on about you, person of high honor. This could be a masculine, a feminine energy. There could be some type of meeting going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. Um, there's some type of effort possibly going on to bring balance into a situation. What I've been hearing today, and this is going to be the guiding theme for this read today, is a man that likes control and self-discipline is a man with many masters making him a slave so basically what that's what they're saying is do not be easily led astray you know don't let anyone come into your life and you know sh uh, sh you know fool you with the shining things right this is when when people come in your life and they can just you know offer you something and you make the wrong decision you need to have morals and standards and discipline and stick to them. That is what separates you from others in life, okay? You having self-control, you having boundaries. Uh, it does not mean that you think you're better than other people. It just means that you have standards for yourself. You're not worried about what other people have, what other people don't have for themselves. But as for you, this is your boundary. You're not crossing it. That's what that is saying. Someone that likes boundaries is easily misled, which means that they can easily be controlled. Okay. Another thing that I am hearing is that we need to draw near to God, source, whatever you want to call it, the universe. It's, the Bible says, draw near to God and he will what? draw near to you so let's continue to do that i try to preach positivity um to my audience uh those of you that watch those of you that are subscribed which i appreciate but i always want to remember to encourage all of you to stay in positivity keeping faith and standing and living in your faith because when you lose faith then you tend to kind of stray away from god you turn your back on god and the moment you turn your back on god that is when you lose your protection, okay? Because that is the only protection that you can ever rely on is the protection from God. You know that protection is solid always. You don't have to second guess it, okay? So there's a meeting going on about you, privileged person, man or woman. You're about you're you're out here showing showing up in a very beautiful energy, or this is the energy you are about to be in and is supposed to be in. You're being seen as someone very much committed to your path, to your journey. You're someone solid, right? Someone of really high work ethic. You are very disciplined. People who have been doing things behind the scenes to distract you and to get you to kind of believe what you were focused on. But you've been very stern by your actions that you are not leaving your path. You are not straying off your path. The Most High has told you what you need to do and you've been doing that. And this is leading to a victory for you. So absolutely, we are celebrating with you. Kudos to you for trusting the Most High and learning to... You know, just stick on that journey, that solo journey that you are on, that only you are responsible for. Absolutely wish fulfillment. You are going to be content or you are about to be content in life. You will have all of your needs met. You would like nothing, right? And the fact that you also have this eight of pentacles out here means that you're about to be living an abund ab abundant life. But there's hard work behind it. It behind it is something that you have earned, okay? And you all have earned these 
amazing lives in different ways. Maybe going through your healing journey, maybe perfecting a craft, maybe healing other people. All of that is being accounted for. Every action we take when we incarnate is being accounted for, right? So there is absolutely a meeting going on about you. There could be a community, an institution, uh, trying to bring balance into, yeah, you see this, honey, success. Trying to bring balance into a situation, all right, trying to correct something. It could be that there was possibly an institution trying to discourage your journey. It's that we're going to make this as difficult for you as possible. We're going to cause blockages for you. And we're going to see just how faithful you say you are to God. Let's see how long you're going to be staying on the right path after we do this to you. After we did do this to you. After we, you know, cause this uh, hindrance to you. And for a lot of you, you still kept moving forward. And it led to people seeing that there's nothing they can do to come in between your relationship with God, okay, or the source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, you are absolutely in a commitment with the source and you have no intentions of straying away from that. And again, kudos to you, okay? This year of 2024 has been filled with a lot of trials and tribulations for a lot of us light workers. I'm telling you, your pathway is clear though. You are stepping out on faith, on hope, new beginnings, all right? The sky is the limit for you. Absolutely, I'm telling you, I am loving this read. Absolutely, you all have put in so much work to get to where you are, right? To be the people that you have become. When you look at yourself today and see who you were yesterday, it's a completely different person. You're a better person you are today than you were before, uh, before uh, yesterday, than you were yesterday, and that's because you put in the work, okay? And that's what we're supposed to do. You put in the work, find the strength to manifest a new reality for yourself. You invest it in yourself, in your future, in your forward movement, right? In building an, an empire or a business for yourself. I'm telling you, a new beginning, fresh start. Absolutely. Okay? And there have been people behind the scenes, whether this is a couple, a code, a coping, an institution, whatever it is, they have been trying you all like workers. Let's see how long you can last. Let's see how faithful you are to source. You said you're a light worker. You said you're a high priestess. You said you're a star seed. Let's see how much of that you are. Let's see how long you're going to be a star seed after we throw all of this baggage onto you. After we do all of this projection, right? And you say, you know what? Hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? And they did. They took turns hitting you with their best shots. They hit you with their best shots as a as a collective group, right? They hit you. They, they came together and they threw a wrecking ball at you, and you took that sucker with your chest. It may have caved your chest in, but you said, mm -hmm. "I'm still moving forward." I'm telling you, you're still moving forward. And these people, this COVID, this institution, this toxicity is a dead. It's dead and done. This is going to be no more. There is rebirth coming into this situation. There is new life, hope, okay? All of these toxic ways of doing things, the old traditional way of doing magic, as they call it, is over, okay? It is time for people to heal, right? People need to free themselves. Get out of bondage. Free themselves. Start over. Go through their renewal, what does the death card says? Mortality, project failure, endings, end of phase, start of new phase, transformation, revolution, liberation, and rebirth. Painful. Okay? So depending on what kind of energy you've been putting out there, that'll tell you what you can expect to be going through. But regardless, at the end of the day, it is all rebirth. It is all transformation. If you were putting negative energy out there, you're going to get that back because you need to go through that experience so you can know exactly what it feels like, what 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 you've been throwing out there feels like so that you can understand that 
that's not how we're supposed to be. So then when you go through that horrendous experience and you come out of it on the other side, you're a brand new person with a new perspective. Now you'll know not to send death spells to people. Now you'll know not to send beauty spells to people. Now you'll know not to send poverty spells to people because you just went through it and you don't want to go through it again, okay? So the karma card, the death card, which is a karmic card for me, it's a car that's there to teach you a lesson. It's an experience that's supposed to teach you a lesson. It's basically telling you what you put out there is coming back to you. you. You might be going through an ending. Maybe you're coming out of like and going into abundance. You might be coming out of abundance and going into like. It all depends on the energy you put out there. And like I said, everything is accounted for. You, whoever you are collective, woman or man, as you know, energy is fluid in tarot. You are about to have fulfillment in a union. This could be in business or romantic, but I'm really so getting getting romantic. It may be both for some of you. You are going to be partnering up with someone where you two will be able to manifest some type of reality. You will go through some type of healing together as well. Pour into each other. Okay, this is a divine union from the most high. There's a contract in here. You two may be soul twins, right? It's going to be successful. You are headed, you are moving forward in victory. I'm telling you, your, 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 your enemies behind the scenes, they have been very determined to block this victory for you. But the most high has been telling you move forward regardless of what's going on around you i need you to trust me and move forward and a lot of you have yes i'm telling you and a lot of you have done that you've been moving forward not knowing exactly where you're going but you said i trust the most high i trust what they have told me i trust what they've provided to me whether it's information or a person you've, you're trusting and you're moving forward you're taking charge okay the, the the source they want they wanted me to, wanted me to tell you all that you taking action to move forward they are guiding you so whatever action you're taking they are guiding you what does the chariot say conquest victory external strength self control right direction put into action momentum breakthrough travel you see that. All telling you that you are moving forward. You can expect positive change. And then you have the protection of the universe, bringing balance into the places where things have been shaken up by the enemies. Where there's imbalance, balance is being put back in there. Okay? You know, the, and you know what's going on behind the scenes, in the present, in the physical, in front of you. You know. You are a high priestess, okay? You are a high priestess. You know already what people are doing. And they know that you know, all right? They know that you know. There's going to be people being sent towards you because now, you know, people want to calm things down. They want to heal, right? They want to heal things. So you may be getting maybe visits from people, getting approached by certain people. These are people you need to be aware and vigilant of. Because these are possibly people that were working against you behind the scenes trying to destroy you. But what you're going to do when these people come towards you is what? Stay in your modesty. Be classy about it. Don't, you know, be there acting wild. If you're a star seed, you already know that's not part of who you are. There's a difference between standing up for yourself, being assertive and saying what you have to say and being rude, disrespectful, obnoxious, and for a lack of a better term, ghetto. Never be in that category. Be diplomatic, but be direct, okay? This is what you have to say. You say it, nothing disrespectful, right? Something I do a lot when I'm having misunderstandings with people, I would say either sir or ma'am, because I want them to know, hey, I am not trying to be disrespectful to you. What I'm doing is just telling you my side of this situation. So it's no type of personal vendetta or against you. I'm not being disrespectful. So when I'm having arguments with people, which I do, I will oftentimes use those terms, sir 
ma'am. And my kids laugh at me sometimes because I will say it so much. I mean, sir, 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 excuse me, sir. And, you know, I just want them to remember that, hey, I know you're human. We all make mistakes. And I want you to remember that I'm human, too, and I'm going to make mistakes. But I'm going to be respectful to you regardless of the misunderstanding we're having. I may talk over you. You may talk over me. But at the end of the day, that's human nature, right? We can still have a misunderstanding and still be able to move forward, right? Agree to disagree. It's, the, it's like that thing with politics. When people have different... Uh, perspective political views than you you say tomato tomato agree to disagree right you're not there to convert them into your political beliefs and they're not there to convert you into your political beliefs but sometimes people make those debates those debates personal because they want you to become either republican or democratic they don't want you to be uh one of the, uh, the opposite of them but they said no that's not how that works you and i are supposed to have a misunderstanding in our political views and we can have a little debate or argument but then we should still be able to come to our, to an understanding that it is what it is right so this is what's going on balance has been brought into a situation you absolutely will be receiving communication that's going to give you clarity I think a lot of you already know what's going on, but there's going to be clarity provided to you. So you may be going through some type of experience right now where your enemies wanted you to think that, you know, you were down and out. It was the end of the road for you. Whatever you were supposed to receive, you are not going to receive. This is what they wanted you to believe, but it's not so. The Most High had its hands in every single aspect of this situation. So you need to have faith okay and continue to move forward whatever they're telling you to do you best do that okay you better do that absolutely do that okay you're going to be a okay a lot of you feel like you are going through some type of situations alone but then when you come on the on this on the platform on the youtube uh, uh social media platform right you hear all these different readings, tarot readings, and you realize you're not the only one going through these difficult experiences. There are star seeds all over the world going through these experiences. It's just a matter of us keeping faith and sticking to our path, our purpose, our destiny, that plan that we have with our ancestors and the universe to keep moving forward and understanding that if we do our part, right, they'll do their part. So your part could be Maybe you getting a response together. Maybe you healing. Maybe you addressing certain things that are not right within you. Or, you know, just doing whatever it is you need to do so that you can stick to your path, your journey. And they're promising you they'll take care of the rest, okay? There's a situation some of you are going in and the universe is telling you this is above your pay grade. This, this is like taking care of. You have nothing to worry about, Okay? But you will be receiving communications. You can expect to receive communications from someone, okay? You've had people trying to intimidate you, people bullying you all behind the scenes. They do it in discreet ways where they think no one knows, no one's going to find out, no one's going to be able to prove anything that they did. But you know, and you have stuff, right? A lot of you have information, you just need to go back and this is for someone out there. You have some type of information and you need to go back and look into it. Okay? Look into it. You're not the only one going through that. There are a lot of people going through these situations where you have a group of people come together trying to cause you an ending, trying to uh, uh, just destroy you. Some of you have you out of here. Right? They want, they want you living in fear and things like that. And they don't realize the entire time you knew what they were doing. Some of you were just sitting back and collecting evidence on these people. They thought they had every aspect of your life covered and invaded. But, you know, the most high works in mysterious ways. We're not going to say what that mysterious way is, but, you know, the most high works in mysterious ways. You can, you can, have, you can have a whole uh, community coming against you. And they can't understand why they're not able to take you down or destroy you. And it's because of the grace of the Most High. The grace of the Most High. Your angels working on your behalf behind the scenes to make sure things go in your favor. 
providing you with information in mysterious ways and you hold on to those informations until the right time. Meanwhile, your enemies, they're living a vita loca in toxicity and karmic veil, believing that they have you where they want you to be. They say, aha, we have her, we have him right where we need him. Now we can destroy him, only for them to be surprised. They say, no, that's it's not what you think it is. Okay? Yes. You have people trying to have you just, you know, like some of those things. So sometimes what the enemy does, yeah, absolutely. They wanted you in this energy. You saw how it came out sideways. So you're in control of your destiny. They can't end you. We're going to put this in the reverse. You can't, they can't end you. This is this was the plot of your enemies to destroy you, destroy your union, your success, but they can't. You recover everything the enemy was trying to steal from you. You recover your peace, your joy, your happiness, your abundance, your inheritances. You recover, you're recovering all of them. They will be returned to you. Your life is yours. They can't destroy you. This union is saved. Some of you are supposed to be in divine unions and people have been trying to interfere with those unions. They don't want someone to see you as wish fulfillment and there's more, the most high is telling them, hey, I already told you who this person is. Why are you questioning me? That's a human telling you not to do something. I already told you. Their ancestors are on them. Hey, I already showed you who this person is. Why are you letting some mere human have you questioning what we told you. Are you telling us they know more than we know? They know better than us? Someone is being awakened by their angels, their ancestors, the universe. They said, we already told you who this person is. We already showed you this man. We already showed you this woman. This is who they are. We already told you that these people are lying. There's ulterior motives behind what they're doing. And you're still sitting here questioning and going back and forth in your mind if you should move forward or not. The enemies cannot do anything to you all. All they can do is use scarcity tactics, fear tactic, intimidation, but that only goes so far. What happens after a while, you kind of get familiar and acclimated to their way of functioning and operating. So when they do anything, whether new or old, you're not surprised by it. You're like, well, I was expecting that. I was expecting you all to do that. I was expecting you all to do something. Before you do something, the Most High is revealing it to me to let me know, hey, this person is about to come do this to you. And you sit back and you just watch them because the Most High already told you, hey, don't don't even do anything. Just let them carry it out. Carry out their plots. You already know we're here. Just let them carry it out. Okay? Just let them carry it out. Yeah, keep, I'm telling you, you find the strength to keep pushing forward. You find the strength to keep pushing forward. You didn't know where you're going. This is someone that don't even know the direction they're going to. They just know they're going to the town. They live in the town. They just know the town is up that way. And they're determined to get to the town. And the town is within sight, which means they're almost at their destination. They're almost at the finish line. This is some of you. This is what the Ten of Wands means. You're almost there. Which means right now you found the strength to keep pushing forward and you're almost at your, your, your the finish line. This is what your enemies did not want you achieving. And you had people around you. Yeah, they were causing illusions. They wanted you to think that you were so far behind. It was basically hopeless and pointless for you to keep moving forward. And here it is, the universe is reaffirming to you. They are reiterating to you, hey, we already told you, you're almost there. We're just about to thrust you the rest of the way. You have like a few more steps. Oh, there you go, boom, Rush. okay? You have people around you within these institutions 
that knew exactly what was going on. You had people in your families that knew exactly what was going on. They could have lifted a finger to assist you or make you know, make something known to you, but they choose not to because why? They were given this. They were given this. So some of them may have tried to throw hints at you to let you know that, hey, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But you're like, honey, I already know you're in a situation that you've binded yourself to. And you, you can't really come out and say something. This is this is some of you. Yeah, because yeah, they snuck you. They betray you. They betray you and this was your energy the whole time. This was your energy the whole time. You didn't do anything to deserve this. But because of greed, these people decided, yep, we're going to take them down. We're going to bully this person. We're going to destroy them. I'm telling you, you have victory. We're going to destroy them. We're going to try to destroy them. Some of them knew they couldn't destroy you. This card, listen, it's just being repetitive. You are protected. Your victory is protected. You could be having someone that's going to be working with you. You don't know who this person is. This could be like your divine masculine or just someone like your, 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 your guardian angel in flesh that's going to be working with you. To bring balance into a situation. You've been wronged miserably. You've been wronged miserably. And your angels are letting you know that you are protected. And your actions that you are taking. You are being guided to take those actions. And you are protected. And you are successful. Your victory is ensured. Okay. They knew. They knew what was going on. It's like, I know, I know you're aware of what's been going on, but you can't do nothing because you, you accepted some type of money, signed some type of paper, okay? So all you can do is give me hints, but I've already been shown the whole picture. So those hints aren't really, you know, necessary. Telling you, Okay. You're going to be meeting with someone. Someone is going to be meeting with you. These are people that were not able to destroy you because you are so protected. People are, fine, are realizing how protected you are. You know, some of us will say, oh, I'm a star C. I'm protected. You can't do nothing to me. And they don't even understand what they're really saying. It just sounds really cute to say. And so... Uh, your enemies, they get used to hearing a lot of people saying that. But then when you come around and you say it, they just disregard it. They say, oh, we've heard that a million times from everybody else. They're a star seed. They're a high priestess. They're an empress. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they start hitting you with their best shot. We need to find out, oh, yeah, this one really is a star seed. This really is a high priestess. This really is an empress. So this really is a higher fent. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So you will absolutely be meeting with someone. There's a meeting that's going to be taking place and you will make it there. Information will be provided to some of you so that you can make this meeting. I had a vision. I saw someone walking through a door and you were, you walked through that door at the right time. I, I had the second vision of a person's foot stepping somewhere. So you're going to land exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay? People are people are heartbroken because they're finding out that you are genuine. They didn't realize they were being misled by someone malicious. They didn't realize someone was trying to end you out of envy, jealousy, and greed. And people may be heartbroken by this betrayal. They say, oh, you want to tell me we've been following a fool this whole time? You've been misleading us? They say, you can't, this is why we started the message off with that statement, right? A man that likes control and self-discipline is a man with many masters, making him a slave. You can't blame anyone else for your actions. You have to take responsibility for your actions. Okay, you have to take responsibilities for your action. And then you have to try to correct your wrongs and forgive yourself so that you can heal. It's a lot of burden to be to live 
with uh, 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 uh what do i want to say you know when you are burdened by something that you've done that's a that's a lot to carry around that's a lot to carry around that's one way to lead to, to put yourself in an early grave living in regret you know find someone to talk to and get it off your chest if you have any actions you can take to correct the wrong that you did do that by you doing that you are letting source know that you want to get back on the right path and i guarantee you they're going to be protecting you they'll take care of you you're restoring yourself you're telling source that you're restoring your faith in source that you are going to trust them in the future that when you are living in like in any way shape or form you will trust them to see you through okay you're not a slave you're going to be meeting with someone you're going to be making a meeting as well that has to do with abundance your abundance your inheritance okay there was a whole plot to keep this secret from you to hide this from you to hide this from you they said we're gonna hide it and we're gonna make their lives miserable until they give up on life maybe they'll end up on aliving themselves or something and you looked around you saw that you were surrounded by enemies and you said oh you all don't know who you're dealing with do you me on a life myself collective you know better than that that's the easiest way to fall from grace and you already know sources protecting you from harm harm's way so unaliving yourself is just pointless it's like listen we have all this protection around you and you're telling me that you're still going to try and have yourself taken out of here what the heck is wrong with you we are protecting you so they've been trying behind the scenes they were going to destroy you take you out of here what does the ten of swords in reverse say a narrow escape, recovery, healing, come back, regenerated beginnings, cheer up again, move on, growing from pain. Exactly. Recovery. You escaped something. Someone else escaped something. They weren't supposed to make it, but they're making it. You and your soul twin could be mirroring the same uh, experience. Maybe they had someone that was trying to end them and they narrowly escaped that person or that per those people and you've been going through the same thing. So when you two meet, you have a, a big story to tell. You say, hey, my ex was trying to sacrifice me. My, my job was trying to sacrifice me. They were bullying me and trying to have me break down mentally, have me, dis have me distance myself from source and my ancestors. And he's going to be like, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and it may not be something to laugh about right now while you are going through it. But when you're having that conversation, I guarantee you, you two will be laughing. You said, dang, they, they really had it out for us. Like, yeah. And then you'll be talking about specific characters in that conversation. It's like, remember, remember uh, Betty? Yeah, she did this and she did that. Remember Johnny? Yeah, he did that and he did that. That was real funny, but I mean, it wasn't funny when he was doing it then, but now looking back, it's like, oh my God, Johnny is a mess. Johnny needs to heal, right? But they were trying to hide your abundance from you. Have you thinking that you were lost, you were impoverished, you had lost everything, that the role was just doom, gloomy and doom for you, gloomy doom, right? Yeah, but this is you victory because you kept moving forward again new start a new start the old you is dead and gone that old chapter is dead and gone it's fin finished what i just heard some of these people are realizing you never did them wrong you never had any ulterior motives motives against them they took all, this, all of this action against you and you never once took any type of malicious or spiteful action against them. Someone in here is heartbroken by what they did to you. There are people in this group, in this institution, 
that are heartbroken because they went up against someone that was genuine, someone that did nothing to them, all based on a lie. And again, that comes in play when you have to have control of your own mind. We that are stubborn, the world may have a problem with our stubbornness, but that is why you cannot come and tell us, hey, don't talk to Elizabeth, and we just choose not to talk to Elizabeth. Why? Because of that stubborn nature in us, we want to go and talk to Elizabeth to find out Elizabeth's side of the story. Why is Mary telling me not to talk to you? You've always been nice to me. You've always been courteous to me. I've never had a bad experience with you. So I don't know why she's telling me not to talk to you. So what happened? Most of the time, most of the time you'll find out Elizabeth doesn't even know what's going on either. Because Elizabeth didn't do anything to, me, to Mary. A lot of the times you'll find that out. That Mary maybe was just jealous of Elizabeth. Mary wanted something that belonged to Elizabeth. Mary is on heel. She's jealous. She's not willing to do the work. Elizabeth's light bothers the demon within Mary. So Mary has made it her mission to destroy Elizabeth's life. So she's causing separations in Mary, in Elizabeth's life. Hey, don't talk to Elizabeth. She said this about you. Hey, yeah, trying to cause endings in your life. Hey, don't talk to Elizabeth. She just did this. She said you did this. And it's all lies. All lies. And then people find out that this is you in this energy, genuine, pure. Someone that shares with other people with no ulterior motives. Right? Someone wise. I'm telling you. You're genuine. You're finding out that you are genuine. Someone is having fond memories of you. But you may not have fond memories of anyone in this situation because of everything they did. So now they have to be mindful of the people they sent towards you. Say, hey, she used to be friends with this queen of wands. Maybe we can send this queen of wands to let her know. He used to be friends with this king of pentacles. Maybe we can send this king of pentacles to him to let him know. It, 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 it's like it, it could have all been avoided. All avoided. This is someone you knew from your past. This queen of wands is someone you knew from your past. And you yourself, you're stepping in this energy. is that you're standing your ground. People see that you're a sweetheart, but you're standing your ground. It's like, I'm not breaking. I'm standing firm. I'm telling you, you're standing firm. You know what's yours. You intend to get what's yours. Yeah. Someone is thinking on how to approach you. So how do we come to this person? How do we address this person? How do we present this person with this information? We've all effed up so bad. And meanwhile, you're not even worried about a thing. You don't care how they look, what they did, because you already know the Most High is taking care of it. You don't have any ill intentions for anyone. You just know. It's all good. It's all in love at the end of the day on a cosmic level. Because at the end of the day, it's all part of our educational experience in this beautiful incarnating experience that we're having. They, they just helped you grow and ascend. This is a classroom we're in on earth, right? That's all it is. That's all it is. I'm telling you, people want, want to move on to karma waters, heal things. Right? There could be someone defending you behind the scenes now that the truth has been revealed. They said, no, that is an empress. That's the true empress. That one right there is the empress. I don't know who this person is that's been pretending to be an empress, but they're not an empress. I'm telling you, and that person is sad. Whoever has been pretending to be something they're not, this is them. This community that was coming after some of you, these people, this couple, wherever this is, that was coming out of you, after you, this is them. This is them. Mm -hmm. So 
someone received some type of message that told them she's still moving forward. He's still moving forward. We didn't do anything to block this person. We, we, didn't, we, we didn't stop nothing. We didn't stop the show. This person is still determined to move forward. And there's someone behind the scenes throwing a fit like, oh my God. There's somebody unhealed. The fact that they know you're still moving forward means that they know they cannot have what's yours. They they had they they are not successful in destroying you, tearing you down, breaking you, unaliving you. They're not successful in it. Okay. Someone knows, and a group of people know, anything they throw at you, the universe has a plan, has a way of getting you out because of who you are. Someone is throwing a fit behind the scenes. Any obstacles they put in your way, the universe already has a way to get you out of it. Okay? I'm telling you. This couple, this family, mm -mm. there's no victory for them. There's no victory for them. Whatever plans they have for you all is not taking place. They've lost. They thought they had a strategic way of coming towards you all. A perfect plan to take you all out. It's not happening. Someone may want to even come in as a friend just to destroy you. I'm telling you. Just to destroy your family. This is what some of them are planning. Okay. They were planning to destroy you. Now they're having conflict with this three of swords out here. They wanted you are in this harmony, trying to split up families, break up marriages and relationships, take away your stabilities and things like that. If you build a business, they have been working to destroy their business. And you have been friends with some of these people and you don't even know that the very people you have right in front of you are the ones that have been working behind the scenes to destroy the things you love. Stealing from you, lying on you, smearing your character, trying to break you down piece by piece. They say, oh, you think you have a future? You think you're gonna be free? You're gonna be different from us? will show you and the universe has been sitting back and watching and say yeah yeah this one is not one of you they are like programmed the way they are for a reason they're not one of you in this lifetime they've done the work and they're here to heal other people i'm telling you to heal other people the high priestess is someone that's healed healed Someone that knows themselves very well. Strong connection to source, to the spirit realm, right? Someone that's balanced, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually balanced. Family oriented, very wise. You hardly ever know what a high priestess know. That's the surprise. You never know what a high priestess know. They had that vow of silence. They're taking internally. They know. They know things other people do not know. That's part of what the hanging man is. So you're showing up here, collective, as the high priestess with knowledge of the hanging man, meaning you see things from a higher perspective. You see the you see the situation from both sides from multiple viewpoints. So you have a higher understanding than everybody else in most situations. Okay? You know things that these people don't know. You know things that they don't know. Okay? Whatever plans they had, there's con I'm telling you, there's conflict. There's conflict. It cannot be carried out. 
this this harmony because the truth is being revealed someone was trying to humble another character a star sea an empress a high priestess they were trying to humble you in the worst way possible and it's not because you said that you are better than someone it's just because uh someone just has a problem with you being who you are that's it Someone has a problem with you being blessed by the Most High. They said, who are you to have this kind of blessing? You're not old enough to have it. You haven't done enough work. They said, how do you know what kind of work I've done? How do you know what kind of work someone has done in their life just because of age? You can meet a teenager today that's wiser than someone in their 70s. Tell me online in the comment section. You can meet a teenager today that's wiser than someone in their 70s, their 80s. Right? Someone more mature. A teenager can be more mature than someone in their middle age or later years. But there's discontent in this group, in this family dynamic, whatever we want to call it. I'm telling you, there's discontent. Because you're having a brand new passionate beginning. They wanted you to think it's, it was over. I said that before. <laughs> they wanted you to think it was over. You are done. You are doom and gloom. You're having a fresh start. You had some type of temporary loss. You may be having some type of temporary loss. But all will be well. You will recover. What does this say in the reverse? Link spiritual power. Relief. Difficulty eased, improvement, rebounding, slowly recover, cut losses, things will get better. I'm telling you, they know that. They said, oh, when we do this, it's done. They won't be able to bounce back from this. And the Most High said, I think not. That's what you think. Let me show you what I know. Let me show you what I know. And I'm telling you of the God's honest truth. A new beginning. And you better take hold of that bull's horn. Just like you've been doing. And move forward. Do not be out here acting confused. Like you don't know the truth. You know the truth. Things are going in your favor. You have karmic justice taking place. Things are going in your favor. You have good karma coming in. Okay. Someone wanted an institution to leave you out in the cold. They're not leaving you out in the cold. Balance is being brought into the situation. Balance is being brought into the situation. There's going to be some type of new beginning in a union. You two have never been together, by the way. At least not in this lifetime. This is a new partner for you in this lifetime. But you two could be soul twins, soul mates. So there's a past life connection in that union. And you two are about to have a new beginning together. And people are not happy about this. But that's not your place or your business to worry about. The Most High has destined that it's time for this union to come into being. Because there's a purpose for this union. Not just for the two of you and individually. But on a grander level, you two have a high purpose. A, a large purpose. A big purpose in the world on this planet. Possibly to heal people. You, you are experiencing something you'll be able to help other people overcome. Or you've experienced a lot that you will be able to help other people understand and overcome. And people are not happy about that. And again, we don't care. That's irrelevant. Can you imagine two people having a destiny to heal millions? And you have a small group of people, let's say like even... A thousand people in a community, in an institution, co collaborating with other people. They are trying to block that purpose from being fulfilled, for trying to block that destiny, that contract from being fulfilled of those millions of people being healed. You really think the Most High is going to sit back and just say, oh, well, you know what? The, uh, there's a thousand people that don't want this contract being fulfilled, so we're just going to dismiss the contract. What? No. What the Most High is going to do is start causing mayhem in you all's life so that you can humble thyself, sit down, chill. 
something is bigger than people. This group, this community, they don't realize that something is bigger than them. They will never understand it until they see what the purpose of this collaboration, this union is, this two of cups, until they see what the purpose of it is, what it's meant to do for people in this lifetime. And until that happens, you will still have people in this institution from behind the scenes after this is over, still trying to interfere. That's how determined your enemies are. Even though they'll know that they don't have a chance to destroy you, block you, whatever, they'll still be trying because they just got to. Even though they should walk away, I'm telling you, they should walk away, but they're going to keep trying. There's so, so much being revealed right now to these people behind the scenes. People's wives, what their wives have been doing behind the scenes, what their mothers have been doing behind the scenes. These people are living in fear and anxiety. They don't know what to expect. All the illusions they've been causing. And they said, oh my gosh, this person knew the whole time what we were doing. They knew the whole time what we were doing. Someone felt like, you know, some people, they feel entitled to things. They feel entitled to messing with you. They got a kick out of it. It was their life's purpose every day, their mission every day. To wake up and try to get some type of reaction out of you, to cause some type of anxiety for you. People playing with your emotions and your mental. And I said it in one of my reads. Sometimes you got to play the enemy's game better than them. They try to play mental games with you. You do the same thing to them. They try to pull on your heart, play with your emotions, do the same with them. Because you have nothing to worry about. You didn't do anything to these people. They're the ones with the skeletons in the closets. You don't have any skeletons. They can open your closet and it's all wind in there. So, and it's the wind from the door being open. If they find something in there and they try to use it against you, you say, well, go ahead. You know, I need a little bit of excitement in my life. My life is quite boring. So go ahead and expose it. Tell them what you want to. Can you make sure that I'm there when you're doing it? I would like to have a front row seat. Some of you people have been invading your privacies, hoping that they'll find something that they can use to blackmail you. They haven't been able to find anything. They said, we've been searching and searching and searching. We've recorded this person. We've been looked through their emails. We blocked them out of their accounts and we can't find not find nothing. We've listened to their conversations, all kinds of stuff. They still can't find nothing. All they hear is you going off about life, things you know is going on, just a whole mess. And some of them don't even know what to make of you. And no one is this squeaky clean. There's something we don't know, but it's like, no, there's nothing you don't know that's, you know, so hidden. There's nothing anyone is hiding. To be a star see, you have to be pure hearted. You have to be clean hearted. So you're not going to be the one with all the scouting tents in the closet. You won't be like a P. Diddy. Okay. You're not going to have all those scouting tents in the closet and they come out comfortably every day, pretend to be a stand up guy. A stand-up gal. Because as a star seed, that's going to play on your heart and your mental. Be like, oh man, I know I did this to this person. I, I, uh, you'll have anxiety just knowing that you wronged someone. That's how we are. Someone's wanting to extend a friendship to you, I'm telling you. They're, they're, they're having anxiety. Your enemies are having anxiety. Now they're thinking fond, fondly, fondly of you. So if I had just accepted this person's friendship, 
instead of betraying them and, go, them and going up against them with this group, I wouldn't be here. Why did I do this to this person? They didn't do anything to me. That's because they were under an illusion. Someone probably had these people thinking they were going to have some type of victory over you, destroy you, and they're finding out it was an illusion. And they can't cause an illusion anymore because things are being looked over. Things are being looked over. There could be an empress and her son in here that have been doing something. It's going to be exposed. Maybe she had her son stalking someone. They say, Mom, this is what she's doing. This is what he's doing. He said this. Can we use this? Uh uh. She may be using this masculine to send you some type of information. Or this could be a wife. Send, I don't know, sending a masculine, a younger energy to you to provide you some type of information. There's something going on like that. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Yeah. There are people you work with that betray you heavily. Whatever this abundance is, for some of you, these are people you work with that are supposed to help you manage this abundance you more than likely were going to share with these people because you knew there was like so much abundance. You said, all oh, this for one person? I have to give back to the world. I have to share with people. This is how a lot of star seeds are. Now, we, we're, we're not, we're not going to share foolishly. We get to a certain point in our journey, on our journey, where we learn you can't just give to everybody. And I'm so glad I'm at that point because, honey, I used to just give, give, give to people. They ask for something, ask for help, ask for money. If I have it, I give it. If it's my last dollar and I know I don't have any money for, for dinner or whatever, I'll still give it. Uh-uh. The most time my ancestors were, sisters were like, uh-uh, you know what? We're going to put you through this experience here so you can learn your lesson that not everybody is meant to receive charity from you or help from you. And honey, when I say I learned that lesson, I learned that lesson. That's how I put a cap on it. Now I'm very, very vigilant and mindful when I have it, who to share it with. And I don't expect or accept help from just anybody. In my worst situation, if you come and offer me help and I don't get a good feeling about you, I don't want it. Because I'm never so down and out that the universe cannot recover me. Okay? I am never so down and out that the universe cannot recover me because I understand that thing called what? Divine timing. Everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens in divine timing. There's a king of uh, cups that's trying to recover right now. He's trying to stabilize something, heal something with you. Someone is living with a lot of burdens because he did something. Someone wants a second chance with you, wants to bring something to your attention. Okay? He's finding out that you did not betray him. Someone may have told this man that you did something to them. And this is part of the reason why he possibly went up against you. But why did this person not ask you if you did it? Because if they're showing up in a King of Cups energy in your life, that means that this is someone you had a close relationship with. Someone you were well acquainted with. And if someone told them that you betrayed them, why didn't they ask you? Hey... This person said you did this to me. Did you do it? And you would have cleared things up. But you know, we can't judge people too hard because we all are at we all are at a different stage in our healing journey. Maybe he's at that stage right now where he doesn't feel comfortable asking or he's not mentally built yet to ask people what's going on. They just he just listens to what people tell him. We've all been there. I've been there before. When I was younger, in my teens and early 20s, that was me. I didn't ask questions. 
Austin times when people told me something, I didn't come to you as causing problems and I didn't look at you any differently. But when people would tell me things, I would just say, oh, okay, I didn't know they did that. That's kind of wrong. But I didn't go to the person and be like, hey, she said you did this. Is that true? But we need to do things like that. It's not gossiping. It's you finding out the truth. Because you need to understand why someone feels comfortable telling you that someone betrayed you. And especially if it's not true. Someone told a masculine that you tend to source them. Meanwhile, you never did it. So he may have rejected you and gave his love offer to someone else. And now he's finding out that maybe the person he gave it to was the one that betrayed him or someone lied to him so he could make the wrong uh, offer to the wrong he could make the right offer to the wrong person and he may be wanting to move on now and i think that's what he's doing he's like yeah i'm done i can't be part of this i'm moving on i'm gonna go take my chances with that star c they may reject me i'm worried i'm not 100 percent sure they're gonna want to talk to me but I'm going to go talk to them. And this person is leaving an institution out in the pool. He's like, I don't want to be part of this mess anymore. He's defending you behind the scenes. You may not even know. This could be like someone probably from five years ago, 10 years ago, a year ago, six months ago, something like that. But they're defending you. They're like, you all are liars. You got to do what's right. This person didn't do what this person said. And he's, I mean, this person is stuck in their mind. Stuck in their mind. They said, my gosh, I went after the wrong person. This person is having a fresh start. They're taking a leap of faith somewhere else. Trying to see what's behind the new doors. Right? Trying to see what's behind the, the new doors that was behind here. Because this other the door I just left uh, is nothing but chaos there. I'm telling you. Clarity. He's bringing clarity into the situation. Or oh, he has clarity now. But the fact that this is coming after him, I think this is him bringing clarity in the situation. He's seeing that you're genuine. So he's going to bring something to your attention. Be patient with this person. You probably probably know what this person did. Give them a listening ear. Because this person is going through a whole lot right now. Their conscience is already eating them up. They are burdened by their conscience right now. And they may not be doing too well health-wise as well. There could be a feminine energy in here as well that's not doing too well. Someone's business is not doing too well. All because they came after you. They accept their briberies behind the scenes. They didn't understand the consequences, the ramifications of the things they were doing. But it looks like things are not going in their favor. And someone is wanting to bring you clarity and say, hey, this is what we were doing. We martyred ourselves behind the scenes. We were told to separate ourselves from these people, but we didn't listen. We partook in this. This is what's going on. This is what belongs to you. This is what they've been hiding. And they're hoping that you will understand and not be too judgmental of them. I feel like I'm speaking for this masculine right now. Like someone wants you to forgive them. They want, they're want. they hoping you'll see things from a higher perspective. See that they're trying to do the right thing. They're hoping that you are understanding. I feel like I'm speaking for this masculine. Like I'm, Like he's speaking through me. Someone is very remorseful. He wants you to know that he's sorry. He's sorry. He said, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did this to you. You didn't deserve that. You're really a good person. Someone is saying that. Oh, this is what they're going to say to you. I'm, I'm telling you, this person is heartbroken. They're heartbroken. They betray you. Out of the confusions they were all causing... Okay, there could be someone that don't want him doing the right thing, or maybe they don't even know what this person is about to do. I'm telling you, he may be bringing you clarity as well about another energy. Maybe someone wants to wants him. Oh man, someone may want this masculine to lie to you, 
change her perspective and say, hey, tell her this happened when that's not really what happened. And this masculine knows that when he comes to you and he tells you any lie, you're going to know because you're a high priestess. So you know when people are lying, like you already know the truth. Like everything has already been revealed to you. So he knows he cannot come and lie to you. So he's going to do the right thing. There's a king of pentacles. I'm telling you, there's a king of pentacles here whose business is not doing well or is about to not be doing well. And he's about to be in the reverse because this is someone that made the wrong move. Someone left finances, money, materialism get to his head. This is someone greedy. It says put money above all before I even mention that. The king of pentacles in reverse. It says put money above all materialistic, corruption, authoritative, stubborn, selfish, lazy, unproductive financial endeavors. Um, honey, literally what I was saying. I literally, when I'm not on camera, I don't read these cards. Literally what I said is exactly what the card is saying. Someone is very greedy. He has a, a lot of ambitions, but the way he goes about it is not healthy. And I think I've mentioned this man before, this King of Pentacles, in another reading. This person betrayed you, and they've been smiling in your face and things like that. It could be a man or a woman. Been smiling in your face, trying to have you think they're someone of high honor, but they're going through some type of ending behind the scenes. Their business is falling apart, and it's karma. They betrayed you. You were kind and genuine towards someone. Whether this was a lover, a father figure, a husband, a boss, whoever. You were genuine with this person. You extended a genuine olive branch to this person. And someone approached them with some money to take you down to block your forward movement. And he saw the amount of money and his tail started wagging. His tongue came out. <laughs> Money, 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 money. Not knowing he was ensuring his own ending. And they told him the longer you keep this person blind to the truth, keep him blind to the truth, keep her blind to the truth, keep him stuck here, keep her stuck here, the more money you get. And they thought you didn't know. This person's ending is your karmic justice. Spirit is saying to not feel sorry for this person. This king of pentacles in the reverse, do not feel sorry for them. Do not feel sorry for them because this person didn't care about your future. Someone knows that you all have families to take care of. You will be married, have homes and mortgages you're paying for, have to pay for. They didn't care how they were hindering you. This is one of those people, they'll know you're in some type of sticky situation they've put you in. And then they'll come and try to give you uh, money to make it seem like they're, they are Robin Hood. They're stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. Meanwhile, they're the slimy rich person the whole time behind the scenes that has been stealing from the poor so they can stay on top. The universe let this person undo themselves. This was justice. I'm telling you, the universe let this person undo themselves. They're like, hey, we're putting this divine energy, this divine being in your life. If you support them, if you stand by them, you will be elevated in every way, shape, and form in your life. You will go through an ascension because of the assistance you provide to this person. This man knew who you were on site, and that's what I just heard. This woman, whoever this is, they knew who you were on sight. When someone laid their eyes on you, they knew you were of the light. Someone may have even seen your halo. They may have seen your halo. They're like, I be damned. There's an angel amongst us. And they have walked into my institution. They have walked into my community. And they want to work with me. Who am I that the Most High believes that I deserve to have this energy in my life? I deserve to be blessed. I've done so much wrong. He knows who he is on a core level. When he looks in the mirror, he knows what he sees. The demons are looking back at him. 
he's hunted behind the scenes, but he's going to pretend like he's okay. This is this man, devilish as can be, but this is someone that pretends to be a pillar of the community. He knows. This person betrayed you. They betrayed you. And they thought you would never know, but the whole time you knew. This is someone that's really good at cloaking their energy. I'm glad this coughing is up here. Sometimes the coughing has to do with cloaking. You know, cloaking your energy, covering yourself. Covering yourself, hiding the truth of who you are. This is someone that thinks they are the master of disguise. And they're not. A lot of you knew who this person was, but you just let them carry on. He said, you know what? I already know you can't really end me. This is for my higher good, highest good. So you know what? Go ahead and keep on keeping on. Do as you wish. You're only ending yourself. I know what's ahead of you. Listen, I know what's ahead of you. You're trapping yourself. Security, like a, a financial insecurity is what's coming for you. You're binding yourself. You're keeping yourself stuck in something you won't be able to come out of. He thought he had enough money in his bank account. It's a rule of awakening. It's all been taken away. He thought he had enough money in his bank account to see this through. He said, well, if things go in that star seed's favor, I have enough money in my bank account until things blow over. And those source was like, I think not. We're taking all of it. We're taking all of it. And now he knows. He knew the whole time what he was doing. And now he knows his pathway is not secure. He thought he was going to, I'm telling you, divine intervention. He thought he was going to be living a good life while you were going through endings. He said, like, if things don't go right, I have enough money in my bank account until things balance back out in the universe. Said, oh, really? You think you have it all figured out, don't you? We got one for you. Here we come. Losing all his money. Someone thought they had the perfect plan to ending you, causing you a death. But they are impractical. This is someone impractical. Non-committal, rash, impulsive. And he thought he had the perfect plan. He said, I have perfected my plan. This is what we're going to do. It's going to work. There is no way out for this person. And Thor said, really? You want a bet? You think you're higher than me? I that created everything that is. And I told you to not partake in this, to remove yourself from this situation. I was giving you a second chance at life. You were on your last leg with me. And you still chose to come after this person after they didn't do anything to you? Okay. Okay. Never let greed be the guiding force in your life. You will always meet your ending, your demise. And you ha you'll have no one to blame but yourself. Someone had, and I'm telling you the God's honest truth, someone has a lot of ambitions, but they're greedy at the same time and they like morals. They're not practical. As soon as they see money, everything else leaves the building. F morals, there's money in the building. How much are you talking about? Oh yeah, block that star see Oh, come on. How much are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Someone's going to have to seek counsel because you have legal issues coming in. You may want to go seek wisdom from someone else because you don't have it. This is someone mature that should know better. This could be like an emperor that's a king of pentacles as well. But it's apparently he's the king of pentacles in the reverse. I'm telling you, you have burdens coming in. 
burdens that you're not expecting, surprises. It don't matter how much money you have in that bank account. You're not secure. Nobody is secure until the situation is balanced out correctly. The same way that high priestess had to find the strength to keep moving forward while everybody was coming after them, it's the same way you're going to have to find strength to keep moving on. He thinks staying calm, not showing any emotions, is going to make this blow over. If I just act like I don't know what they're talking about, if I just act like I don't know what anyone did, what I did, I had no involvement, they'll believe it. It's a, um, really? Okay, okay. Obviously, you are delusional. You are delusional. Huh. What's being told to you, Collective, is that the King of Pentacles in the reverse may have paid to have something done to you. Bring an ending to your families. Cause you sorrows in different ways for each of you. They wanted to destabilize your families. Some of you have your kids taken away from you. Some of you have your jobs taken away from you. Have you living out in the street, homeless, all kinds of stuff. This, yeah. This is what someone was paying for to cause you an ending. That's what a king of pentacles in the reverse invested in. He invested or she invested in causing an ending for someone else. It said, oh, I'm going to do this and then they're going to come to me for help. And it's like the Most High already reviewed you to this person way, way back. So they already knew you were not an option to come to for help. Because if they come to you for help, you would just be binding this person to you. This is absolutely a King of Pentacles who's an emperor, an emperor who's a King of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone thought you were about to go, they were about to uh, cause some type of ending in your life, and then you were going to turn to them and be like, hey, hey, Mr. Davidson. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Hey, Mr. Davidson, you could work with this person or for this person, whatever it is. Hey, Mr. Davidson. I'm going through some hard times right now, and I was wondering if you could please lend me $10,000. And the whole time you already know Mr. Davidson is why you need $10,000. And your ancestors already revealed to you before, hey, Mr. Davidson is doing hot mess things behind the scenes. He's been a hot mess. This is what he's doing behind the scenes. Be careful around him, okay? Do not alert him that you are aware of what he's doing. Stay courteous with him. Be polite always. Work well with Mr. Davidson, okay? Because Mr. Davidson needs to expose himself. Mr. Davidson needs to be exposed. Mr. Davidson, you're going to be exposed. I don't know where the name Davidson came from, but some of you will be dealing with someone named Mr. Davidson. Mr. Davidson is living in anxiety because he's an illusionist. He's been causing a lot of illusions behind the scenes. He's been doing a whole lot, pretending to be someone of, of the upright in the community. They said, oh, Mr. Davidson, he's so committed. He's so disciplined. He does the right thing. He's committed to his wife. He's committed to his family. Meanwhile, Mr. Davidson is part of a whole ass trafficking ring. He's the leader. Mr. Davidson has options for monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday when he gets bored with them he gets rid of all of them and he starts over brand new he sees women as objects and tools someone is very devilish behind the scenes and people don't know that but when they see him or her i'm telling you this person is thick thick as can be but when they see him or her they say oh I wish I was like him. I wish I was like her. I need to get advice from them on how I can be like her or him. This is the person that gives you advice 
and nothing they're telling you is applicable to them because they don't even know how to apply what they're telling you to their own lives. Okay? Because they're pretentious. Arterial motive, lies, deceit. He's living in fear. He does not know what's about to happen. He could be projecting a lot of negative energy onto you. So if I'm going to be living in anxiety and with PTSD and stuff like that, fear, I'm going to throw that to you. And then some of you star seeds, you're absolutely empathetic as well. You're empaths. So you feel the emotions that these people are going through. This is why you're waking up every day. One moment you may be happy. The next meaning you're confused. The next meaning you're sad. The next meaning you're, meaning you're anxious. That's not your energy. These are the experiences, the emotions these people are going through. That's not you. Your energy is consistent. I'm revealing a lot to you all right now. You all don't understand what you're going through. I'm, I'm revealing it to you. That's not your energy. Those are, this, excuse me, those are the energies of the people that have been working against you behind the scenes. Okay? The unseen characters. The toxic characters, your enemies, trying to get you trapped into things that you have no business being trapped in. Okay? Yeah. I'm telling you. He's been working with... Oh, my Lord. He has a partner in crime. He has a partner in crime. Mr. Davidson paid... Karen, to make sure you don't receive some type of love opportunity. It's like if she received this love offer, we won't be able to block her. I won't be able to receive any more money from this institution to block her forward movement. So we have to interfere. Make sure she does not get this message from this masculine. Make sure he doesn't get this message from this feminine energy. Erase the messages. Block the messages. No one has time for love. I have money coming in. This person makes me a lot of money. I don't care about them not being happy, them being a star C. And the universe is always sitting back and just watching. The universe maybe had dreadlocks on some days. <laughs> you know, fixing the dreadlocks and everything. Saying, you know what? Mm, this is getting good. Let me make sure my hair is on point when I'm ready to strike. I'm going to strike in style. And they're just sitting back and watching Mr. Davidson throw his orders. You know, being the big macho man. I get anything I want. And I said, oh, really? Everything you get, where does it come from? Is it from me? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a couple going through an ending too. There's a couple going through an ending. They martyr themselves. There's a couple going through an ending. They martyr themselves. They thought they were secure. This is a toxic couple that thought they were doing everything behind the scenes. You know, throwing rocks and hiding their hands extremely well. They thought they were professionals at hiding their hands. They said, oh, we see you. I see you. You thought you were the masters of disguise. You've met your match. I'm telling you. They thought they were the masters of the skies. Gaslighting people. Bluffing people. Misleading people. Disingenuine. And you've been sitting back watching them and say, oh, I got one for you. They're living in fear too now. They're like, what does this person know? Oh, everything. 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 The masks are going to be falling off. Someone is going to have to seek counsel. I'm telling you. Someone is going to have to seek counsel. Because they know what's coming. There's an ending for a couple, for a masculine. These people thought you didn't know what was going on. <clears throat> Someone's going to need to seek counsel. Someone could end up going to jail, to prison, because they violated laws. Not just state laws, but federal laws. Federal laws. 
Someone may end up in the penitentiary. We hope you don't get penetrated. Someone's fear, one of their biggest fears is going to the penitentiary. So if you have a fear of going to the penitentiary, why would you indulge in this kind of activities? Why would you involve yourself in these kind of activities? Make it make sense. If you know you're not going to survive, which, honey, you probably will not. You probably won't. You're not going to survive. I can see your energy. You're not meant for that place. I see your energy. You're not meant for that place. You're not going to survive it. They're going to have to pull you in like protect, protective custody, solitary confinement. You may be one of those people that ask for solitary confinement just so you can have some little peace of mind. Because obviously prison is not somewhere you can really have a peace of mind. But you're not going to make it. So I don't know if you're the one that is going through some type of... Yeah, you trapped yourselves. Dang. You trapped yourself. Oh my gosh. Someone is crying. Like I can literally feel their heart. Like their heart is so heavy. They don't know what's about to happen. Am I going to jail? Someone is crying. Someone is not doing well. Someone is sick. Someone is crying. Someone is anxious. Like I can feel all of these people's emotions. All of their emotions. Uh, a queen of pentacles is being exposed as disingenuine. Every action she took to block some type of union from coming together is exposed. She was the one leading this toxic group because she didn't want two people having fulfillment in life. She wanted someone to give her an offer and he's finding out that he's toxic, she's toxic, or he she did something that led to him becoming imbalanced. It's a lot of characters in here. But I keep feeling a masculine is crying a lot. A whole lot. And they think wearing this mask is going to lead to things blowing over. It's not. There's a whole storm ahead of all of you. There's a storm. There's smoke on the mountain. And where you see smoke, there's fire. There's a storm up ahead. There is a storm up ahead. This Queen of Pentacles is exposed as disingenuous. This is not someone loving. This is someone financially focused, superficial. You got to pay her for everything. Someone is finding out that the person they partner up with does not love them. All she cares about is money. They took, they accepted a queen of pentacles in the reverse over an empress. They're realizing that because a group may have guided this person towards this queen of pentacles. And now they're exposed. He wants to end this chapter with her. Who knows? And for some of you, this is a queen of pentacles ahead of a group. Probably possibly an institution that has her hands. Her hands are dirty. Her hands are dirty. She's trying to pretend like she had nothing to do with this, but you had everything to do with it. Everything to do with it. You're exposed. You cannot hide. It, none of you can hide anymore. None of you can hide anymore. Another reverse. I'm telling you, this woman is not angelic. Someone fell from grace. Someone fell from grace. Someone you could have had a contract with a king of cups and he has fallen from grace because he was told that you betrayed him. So he went up against you and now he has fallen from grace. He's lost protection. This could be like someone who's religious. I don't know what happened that this person took a wrong turn. 
but someone fell from grace. They've lost protection from their angels. There's disappointment. My gosh. Like that masculine, his heart is so heavy. For some of you, this is not someone you dated, but this is someone you possibly saw as a friend and you interacted with this person, you were genuine with this person and they laugh in your face, smile with you and every day, day in and day out, they were betraying you. They were betraying you. They were never working together with you. They may not want to work with these people anymore as well. That may be why the temperance energy is in the reverse. They don't want to work with these people anymore because they know there's, there's trouble up ahead. And there is, there is, there's 100%. 100% there's trouble up ahead. Someone used to be in the upright, but they fell from grace. This queen of pentacles never been in the upright. This woman is hopeless. This person is hopeless. This woman is just karmic, vain. I want to see what the king of Pen the queen of pentacles is in the reverse. Is she like the king of pentacles? It says, unconfident, over dependence on others, financial instability, indebtedness, lack of initiative, irresponsible, suffocating love. Lord have mercy. This man shows a whole burden. He chose a burden. This is someone that pretends to be independent. Not independent in any way, shape, or form. Not mentally, not emotionally, not in any ways. Disingenuine as heck. Has nothing to offer as far as the emotions and character. Easily misled by money. If she's with one person and she sees someone else that has more money, that's her new boo. Someone is financially focused. And this group may be up against her, asking her a lot of questions. And say, you told us this was what was going on. And apparently that's not what was going on. You lie. Why did you lie? Someone, someone is going through some type of horrendous ending. And collective, you're going through a new beginning. There's clarity in the matter for you. You're not confused. Don't let anyone tell you you're confused. Don't let these people send anyone to you to give you some type of new perspective that's not reliable, is not legit. They want to confuse you. Someone in here is still stern on causing confusions. So be mindful. Sirs, what is your advice to us today? What would you like us to be aware of? Two, 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 six, healing. Someone wants to heal with you. Someone wants to bring balance into a situation. There's going to be healing and, and balance being brought in this matter for everybody. It's going to be hard for some people, but it's necessary because we all need to grow on some type of level. We all have a need to grow. Even us star seeds, we have a need to grow. It said, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. And goodbye for now.